Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be creating a Valentine's Day tutorial finally for this year. But today I'm super excited for this one because we are going to be trying out the new Rem Beauty Limited Edition Valentine's Day Thank You Next Collection eye set. And this is just so cute and absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. I saw this one come out and I was like, I have to try this one. I'm going to kind of show you guys all the different products in this set and we'll kind of try everything out today. So let's get started. So the first thing is this eyeshadow palette. First of all, look at how adorable the packaging is. There are little like doodle kind of looking like hearts and like lips and things like that. It's so, so cute. Um, and it's the normal size of any other Rem Beauty eyeshadow palette. There's a mirror on top. This is what the palette looks like. We'll do some swatches once I show you guys everything else. Um, but it's still like a really wearable everyday palette, so you can use it anytime. But it also is perfect for Valentine's Day, of course. These lashes in this set is really what grabbed my attention because they're just perfect. They're just so cute. For me personally, I love Rum Beauty lashes, like the ones I've tried out so far anyways, because I think they're really comfortable and like not super heavy on the eyes because I... I don't like when lashes are too thick and heavy. These ones, we'll see how they are, but this, like, they're so cute. There are little pink rhinestones along, like, the lash line, and I just think that that, that is so cute. That's, like, next level to having lashes in a makeup set like this, and I think, I'm, I'm just so excited to try these out. If, if I like them, I'm going to be wearing them, like, all of till Valentine's Day. Last thing in this set is this Rum Beauty Black Liquid Liner. I have one from when the collection first launched. It's the same shade, Midnight Black, um, and when I've tried this one out before and used it, I would say it's one of my favorite black liquid liners. The tip is literally just so precise. It's actually insane when you actually apply it. You can get such a thin line and you can of course make that line thicker. So I do really like this one, but we're gonna still try it out today and I'll let you guys know what I think of everything. I already have primer on my lid so we can move straight into eyeshadow. First I wanna do swatches. I said I was gonna do swatches. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna swatch these three shimmery colors. There are three mattes and three shimmers. So I'm gonna swatch those. I don't think there are names. So I'm just gonna kind of point but we have this lighter pink, this darker medium pink, and then this black eyeshadow, but there are like pink shimmers in it. I think there used to be a shade like this in like the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette um, that had like, it was black, but it had pink shimmer in it. This is what those shades look like. They look really highly pigmented in the swatches, but they picked up really nicely. So I'm going to try to create like something softer, but I might go a little smokier on the outer corners using this black eyeshadow today. Um, but overall those colors are really, really pretty and I can't wait to see how they look on the eyes. I'm going to start out with a fluffy Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to go into this light cream shade just to set that concealer in place before we start building on top of it. And I'm just blending that all along the crease and the outer corners, just making sure everything is set in place. Using the same brush, I'm going to go in with this matte brown, this medium brown shade in the palette and just blend that on the outer corners just to start to transition those colors. I'm slightly working the product out towards the tail of my brows. So I know we haven't applied that much color yet, but I think that those shades still blend it out really nicely. Everything looks super soft right now. I'm gonna go with this Real Techniques Base Eyeshadow Brush, which is slightly smaller than the one that I was just using, but it's still a really fluffy brush, so it'll let us blend really nicely. Um, and I'm just gonna go into this matte brown, which is the darkest matte brown in the palette. Now I wanna start to just kind of smoke out the outer corners and the lash line. So it's gonna be really important that we keep the color really focused on the lash line. So I'm just going in with my brush and placing it and start off with a little bit of product. You can always build it up afterwards. I'm just going to add just about that much for now. I'm not going to go too crazy yet. And also notice I'm not really pulling the shade all the way inwards. I'm only bringing it about halfway on the lid. And then I'm going in with another blending brush and just kind of softening everything out. But before I start adding pink and glitter and everything, I'm going to go ahead and add my black liquid liner. But like I said, this is in the shade Midnight Black and just the tip on this one is so thin and precise. You can 
seriously makes such a thin line with this liner. It's amazing. I'm just going to do a winged liner for this. Now is the fun part. So the first thing that I want to do is incorporate some of that black and really smoke out this liner. I'm going to go with this e.l.f. brush. This is just an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I really like this one just because the bristles are a little bit more stiff. And I'm going to go into that black shade, press that shade right along my liner. And we'll go in later and like clean up these edges. Everything will look super sharp at the end. And now what I'm going to do is go in with that pink shimmer and use my ring finger for this so that we can get the best possible pigmentation. <laughs> and I'm just going to tap this onto the center of the lid and kind of work it into the black a little bit. I will say that this color is pretty buildable. Putting this light pink shimmer on another Morphe brush, this is a Morphe M124, it's all over the remaining part of the lid. And just going back in with that black to kind of fix any parts where the pink really covered it up. Cleaning up the outer edges with some concealer. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with that dark brown from the palette and just drag it across. Now we're going to move on to lashes. Can't wait to see how these actually look. I, I think they're going to be cute, but we'll see. The nice part about these that I'm kind of noticing is that there is a little bit of space before that first rhinestone right there. I don't know if you can see. So if you did have to trim these lashes down a little bit, you definitely could without actually removing any of the rhinestones. So that's kind of good. For me personally, I don't have to cut these, so I'm just gonna use them as is. Do a lash glue and I'm just popping these on. These are perfect. Like, look at how adorable that is. I really don't feel any heavier than a normal lash. You can't tell that the little, like, gems are even on the lashes. If you, like, close your eyes or, like, look down, like, then you would see it. But I feel like it just adds such a nice, subtle touch to the eye look. I just love how lightweight they are. And, like, they still just look like a normal everyday lash. They're really pretty. And then they just, like, when you look down, you can just see the rhinestones. I just think... It is just the cutest touch. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to add some black pencil liner to my waterline. And I'm also going to add a little bit of inner corner liner using that liquid liner from the collection. As well as some mascara to my lashes. Liner and mascara is applied, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to use the liquid liner for inner corner liner. I'm going to use this black eyeshadow shade instead and an angled eyeshadow brush. Just create that inner corner line. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup off camera and I will be back to do lips. Pulled my hair up to kind of finish my face makeup. But for my highlighter today, which is like glowing, um, I use the Rum Beauty Miss Mercury highlighter. It's like one of my favorites. Now that I'm like seeing it on camera, I'm like tapping some of it out because it's really glowing. For my lips, I'm gonna start off by using this NYX Natural Lip Pencil and just lining with this. And I am also filling in the lips with this. Once the liner is applied, I'm going to try out this Rem Beauty Classic Lipstick that I picked up. It's in the shade On Your Collar. And it looks like this. I've never tried these ones out before. It's just a really pretty nude. And I'm just going to place that right over top of the liner. <clears throat> the formula is super creamy. So I think that this formula of the lipstick is really nice. It's definitely one that I would wear every day. Um, and I think it's like really creamy, really comfortable on the lips, and it has a really precise, like the lipstick itself is really narrow, like a really precise application, which is nice. I think this is Rem Beauty Utmost Importance Plumping Lip Gloss, and just apply this over top, and this is the finished look. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I love the way this look came out. I'm obsessed with this collection. I think it is absolutely adorable. 
perfect Valentine's Day gift, or as I always say, a gift for yourself. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.